Welcome to another edition of Data Does Vlog. This week we have a lot going on. Tutoring is in full force and so make sure to pay attention to the schedule and take advantage of the opportunities that your teachers are giving you to get caught up or to, just to clarify some things. Um, we also have Miss Tiller joining us. Some of you will recognize that name and see a familiar face around. Miss um, Tiller has taken Miss Arroyo's old job, so she will be our admin administrative assistant here at Roosevelt. She will start on September 13th, so when you see her, please welcome her. And parents, as you are calling, um, that is who will be answering the phone, Miss Adrian Tiller. Computer science. I know our computer science situation has been um, a concern for some of you and for our students, especially with the deadline of schedule changes coming up. Mr. Chris Wilson is going to be joining us as our computer science teacher, hopefully for a, several years. That is the goal. Um, he hopefully will start by September 21st. That is kind of our tentative schedule from HR. He will come in full force and not skip a beat and hopefully get our kids right back on track to where they need to be. I will tell you though, because of the schedule change deadline, if for some reason that students still want to schedule change for specifically those classes that Mr. Wilson will be teaching for one reason or another, those will be an exception as far as the deadline is concerned because of the extenuating, extenuating circumstance. So don't let that um, concern you as far as getting the schedule changes, but hopefully everything will be going smoothly and everybody will enjoy their new classes and their new teacher. Please help me welcome him when he gets here. Again, Mr. Chris Wilson. Another item on our agenda is Letterman jacket fittings. I know it's still hot outside, but in order to get our jackets in time for possible cold weather, we do need to go ahead and order them. So Letterman jacket fittings will be next Wednesday at 4.30. Um, and there are some requirements for students who want to get their letterman jacket. You have to have at least 50 hours of community service. You have to have been in data for at least a year, so this is really only eligible for sophomores, juniors, and seniors. You have to be involved in an organization or a club, any organization or club, and then you have to get director's approval. So there is a voucher that Ms. Lockamy has that has that information as well, and we have signs posted around the building. Pay attention to those. If you're interested in getting a letterman's jacket, pick up a voucher from Ms. Lockamy. Make sure you get the signatures that are needed so that you can be ready on Wednesday. Good morning, my name is Chris Wilson. I am the new data computer science teacher. I'm coming in from SAISD, excited to join the Northeast family. Uh, I'll be here probably in the next two weeks with your, with your children, and I'm pretty excited about what we're going to do this year. So looking forward to meeting all of y'all. If you have any questions, you can contact Ms. Allen here at the Data Campus. Thank you very much, and looking forward to seeing y'all. All right, another new exciting thing that we have this year is College 101 for students. Every other month, Ms. Lockamy will be leading a College 101 session from 4.30 to 5.30 so that students can come and hear about some information on colleges or just some organizational tips and strategies on how to stay organized, time management. This first session is going to be this Thursday, September 13th in um, Mr. Fritz's room from 4.30 to 5.30. And the focus this month is gonna be on FAFSA, uh, applying for Apply Texas, and then SAT and ACT, how to get registered, um, scores, what they really mean, so on and so forth. Again, these, are, these sessions, these College 101 sessions are just for students. We are also alternating months so that on the other months we'll have parent academies that will cover similar topics but geared more towards you as parents. So students come this Thursday to Mr. Fritz's room at 4.30 to hear some information about colleges. Parents, more information to come. The last thing is this Friday will be our first advisory council meeting. It is also for students. We'll be meeting at 745 in Ms. Daggett's room D14 from 745 to 830. It's an opportunity for you all to come and just tell me what you like, what you'd like to change, what you'd like start to start doing. Um, an advisory council is just a group of people who are very interested and vested in a program. And so in our case, I hope that you will come and give me some ideas and suggestions on how to continue to improve data to make it the best educational experience for you. I'll have donuts, maybe some juice, um, and just come and you can stay the whole time or you don't have to stay the whole time. It's completely up to you. Bye.